What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got a very special snippet from a very special interview with my guy, Evan Owens. This man is a beast. I'm telling you, he is the director of merchandise for Love Renaissance. If you not, are not familiar with Love Renaissance, Love Renaissance is an Atlanta-based record label known for notable acts like Black, Summer Walker, uh, Big Baby Drum, Boogie. I'm telling you, the level of impact that they've had has been amazing. It's been significant. But back to Evan, right? This man not only has been able to help with their merch, right? Directing their merch and has been able to work with merch into the millions. I'm talking about a real merchandise guy from starting his own T-shirt brand, right? In, in, in like high school, early college, building up to that, to actually handling so many artists' merch, not just for LVRN, but for just a lot of people in the industry and being that go-to guy. So this is why I'm excited to just give you this basic opinion on a question that so many artists ask. Check it out. It's the network. Well, I guess we we got to touch on this a little bit, man. You 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 know running merchandise like you do. Like what it, for one, I always hear people say, "When should I start selling merchandise?" Like, mm -hmm. should I start off rip? I dropped my first song on SoundCloud the same day I dropped my first merch, or do I wait? If so, what does that look like? Mm. Again, that's going to depend on the goals of, you know, the talent, because yes. uh, if, if somebody is, is already like fashion focused before um, and it's part of their brand before they even put out a song, they could be having their own, you know, merchandise that they wear. You know what I'm saying? And there's there's no real right answer. You could evolve your, your music brand first and then put put merchandise out. There's no real clear cut one way answer. It just really depends on the type of goals. Me personally, I think that you should think about the plan of, of what that's going to look like prior to launching. Um, mm. But everyone should definitely have one. It doesn't really matter when you start as long as there's a plan to start. Mm. But I like that. I like that. I mean, it's funny because you sound like me, man. I know how that's probably how some people feel a lot of times because I'm always like, yo, bro, it depends. I need context. I can't just give you a general answer, but that's the truth because it, it really yeah. like everybody has different goals and everybody should have different goals. Some people, so many people are looking at that one point and I want to be like this artist or this particular, but there's so many ways to win and so many ways to get to it. It's more so about, like you said, establishing a plan kind of reverse engineering to figure out the system to get there. But in their systems, there's some things you can apply to multiple people that help like in different directions. But when you break it down, it depends on what percentage of your career to be this and what, what percentage you want to be that. Like it's, it's everybody's their own unique. So I appreciate the, like the real, it, it does depend. I really appreciate that. Still have a plan though. Like, it may depend, but still create your own plan. It's the network. All right, as always, you can check out that full interview at brandmannetwork.com. And I'm excited to announce that Evan was so kind to provide a full merch course for those members of brandmannetwork.com as well. So all y'all Brand Man Network members, man, yo, this is my first time announcing that. Go check it out. It's there. And you already know that this guy does merch for real, for real. So we talked about that plan, right, that everybody should have. You can start whenever. I love his perspective, right, on how you start and how, just the subjectivity of it. But you have to have a plan. And we go deep into answering a lot of those questions that artists have and touching those categories so you can build your merch plan because it is something that you want to start that part. ASAP, right? But uh, once again, when you hear these types of questions, Evan is great at this. When you, when you understand that so much of this stuff is subjective, you at least need to be able to understand structure though. So even if it's not applying to you, right? Because there's another part of the interview that I did with him where he's talking about artists versus producers and some things that are subjective between them. If you at least know the structure and your personal goals, you can start building that plan. And that's what this merch course is a huge part of helping you do when it comes to that particular category. Obviously, he's a beast. I don't even really need to say that um, too much more on top of that. But what I will say is, once again, as always, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com. And if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Do hit that subscribe button.